Hey, what's going on, my Godzilla and Kong fans? It's your boy Brian Godzilla fan 1954 here, and we are back with a figure review today. And today we will be reviewing the kind of kind of exclusive five below uh Playmates figures. Uh so Playmates had I guess given or uh, um kind of gave permission to Five Below to sell uh, Godzilla vs. Kong figures, or I don't know if these are going to be in Walmart as well, but I've only seen on social media that they've been at Five Below, and I just got all three of these right here. But before we go into this uh, figure review, I did want to show you guys these right here, and these right here are lanyards right here, um, and I saw these at Five Below. I was lucky to get two of them, and we'll go into that after this, but yeah, it it's a lanyard, and you can get them at five below for five dollars, and it comes with a charm and a card. Um, so yeah, I did see those, and uh, I got two of them, and there's uh, eight in total. And I'll show you guys the box because they let me uh, uh, get the box too that came with those. But anyway, let's get into this. So first off, we'll start well off with um, Kong. So here's his box right here. Uh, I kind of took him out of the box, but this is how the box looks. There's Kong. This guy's over his Kong. The Toa sign, legendary sign, and the Playmates toy sign right there. You guys can see that. And then we have the Godzilla, Kong and Mac Godzilla in the, uh, in the background. So this looks like the other little minifigures that you can also get from like eBay or uh, Target now. Because now you can get them at Target. I think you can get the six pack for $12 or you can get them individually for like 4 or $5. But yeah. Uh, I, but I have all of the, I have both the six pack and the six individual ones. So yeah. But anyway, here's Kong right here. So you can move him, move his arms all the way around, 360. Um, these are made by Playmates, so you, uh, the little minifigures, you can't move the feet or anything like that, but you can move his head all the way around. So really, you could just move his, both of his arms and his head. Um, the detail on it is like, <laughs> it's not good, but it's not bad either for like, for Playmates and minifigures. Other than that, um, it's all right, but man, then you can see kind of like the legendary right there. It's funny how they put it, I want to put it right there though. Um, but yeah, so there's Kong right there. And then here's Godzilla's box right here. Show you guys the Godzilla sign. Same thing, you know, same background and everything like that. Nothing, um, really different from that right there. Well, let me fix this light just a little bit. There we go. So here's Godzilla right here. Uh, his, mine's left arm is a little loose, which I'm kind of not mad about, but just, I was like, hey, why is this like one arm loose, you know? But yeah, you can move his arms all the way around. Well, at least until you get to his side. I think this one you can move all the way around, but this one you can't. Uh, this one you can move his legs right here. You cannot move his head. Uh, really, they really just paint his eyes blue and everything else is just black as teeth are white. That's literally what they did. Uh, you can move his tail all the way around, too. So, yeah. But, yeah, these are just little minifigures, so there's really not that much to them. But, I mean, the the paint's okay, I guess, just for little minifigures. Because they're literally, like, maybe an inch or, like, a... Maybe... No, not even an inch. I would say maybe a, maybe a centimeter higher than the uh, original ones. So, yeah. And then we have Meg Godzilla. You know, same thing. Uh, just has Mega Godzilla right here in the front. You guys can see that. And then same thing for Megazilla. You can move his tail all the way around. Uh, you can move his legs. Uh, you can, They kind of stop right here. I wouldn't try to force it. Um, but yeah. Yeah. They uh, stop at his legs right here. Uh, you can move his arms all the way up to maybe here to his shoulder right here. And move him only to like his um, leg or thigh right here. So, yeah, same thing for both of his arms, but I'll give you guys a closer look at him. This one right here, I think is the best out of all of them, because this Godzilla is just, it's ridiculous to me. I mean, it's still good, but they made him look so, like, ra rounded and everything. I know he's big, but he's not, <clears throat> like, fat or whatever, but, yeah. Um, I would say they did the best on Meg Godzilla. If I had to put him in order, I would put Meg Godzilla... Maybe Kong and then Godzilla. I hate to say it, but I mean Kong is a little bit better because at least you can put his arms like this and he's like punching and stuff like that. Like I can see like this because at least they made it like movie accurate to where you can put it like this. Like his, his um the way that they got this, it fits in his arms like um like kind of like in the movie. Like it fits perfectly. So yeah. 
So that's it for the figures right there. And really not much to review about them, just you know, because they're made by Planets or anything. But I wanted to show you guys um the box real quick for those lanyards. And then let me let me put this to the side right here. So let me go, let me show you guys the box. So here's the box right here. I'll try to put it as back as I can. So it's Godzilla lanyard with card, collect them all. There's a Godzilla sign right there. And then you guys can see the Toho sign. Uh, I think it's made by UCC, I guess that's, or the Surreal Entertainment, I'm not quite sure. But here's all eight. So we have a, I'll put it as close as I can. We have a King Ghidorah, a Mothra, a Rodan, a Godzilla, a Shin Godzilla, Space Godzilla, Millennium Godzilla, and then Mecha Godzilla. So, I got two in. Thank God that they were different because it's a it's like a blind thing. So let me set this right here in the back. So we have eight, and you guys can see them. So each of them comes with the lanyard itself, a little charm, like a little not a figure, but it's like a little flat charm thing, and then you have the card at the bottom. So the two that I got, I got Mothra. And Mecha Godzilla, and I'll show you guys Mothra and show you guys how it looks real quick. So here you have Mothra right here, and then you got the little um, Mothra right here. You can see the front, the side, and then the bottom of her, kind of. And that's the color right there. And then here's the little charm right here. I think this this charm is the same one as on the Godzilla game right here. There's um, the Toho right there. And then here is the Godzilla sign right there, Toho again. But yeah, Surreal Entertainment 2022. So I don't know if these just came out or if they've been out, but I've never seen them. And I don't know if these are Five Below exclusives or not because I've never seen these at Target or at Walmart. They probably will have them there, but as of right now, I only saw them at Five Below. So I'll read this off. So Mothra, um, name Mothra Masura. Species, giant divine moth, height 15.8 meters, length 120 meters, wingspan 175 meters, weight 20,000 metric tons, and then it tells you right here the forms, allies, and enemies right here, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and I like this lanyard a lot because it not only gives you the information of the of the kaiju or titan if they make some monsterverse ones, but it gives you a picture of it the information of it and it gives you like the extra um uh charm and stuff like that with the lanyard so yeah and this was only five bucks so i mean you know if you want if you want to go down there and buy a bunch of them shoot go ahead because that's what i'm gonna do when they get some more but they only had two left so same thing with Mega Godzilla. you know it shows the front the side and then him uh shooting his laser right here and then we have the charm right here <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. We have the charm right here. There's the Toho sign. I'll show you guys that Toho sign again right there. And then we'll read this information off right here. So obviously this is the 1974 one, um, or it might be 75, but I'm pretty sure it's 74. So we'll go right here. Name, uh, Mecha Godzilla or Mecha Gojira. Species mechanical duplicate of Godzilla. Height, 120 meters. Length, 100 meters. Weight, 150,000 metric tons. And then forms, allies, and enemies right here. So I'll let y'all read that for like two seconds. Or you can pause the video. But it says right here on forms, extraterrestrial Megazilla G-Force UX-02-93. Megazilla Super Megazilla. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's actually interesting. So every single thing form of Megazilla they put right here as like its evolved state. So... I wonder why they did that for this one. Well, I guess that's still technically Mecha Godzilla, and they put Kiryu as Mecha Godzilla as well. So yeah, I oh, know they just put this one as the larva stage, or uh, am I saying that right? Im Imago stage. If I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right, right or wrong, but yeah. And then you got the allies, Simians, Tit okay, so yeah, Simians, Titanosaurus, United Nations. See, all of this right here is from the 2003 movie, Tokyo SOS. But all of this right here is from like 74, 75, and then the like the 1994 movie, and then the 2003 movie. So, huh. I guess that like covers everything. But then right here, uh, it says allies, simians, titanosaurus, United Nations. So, yeah. I mean, not allies. I mean, enemies, Godzilla, King Caesar, 
and Gear and the Rodan slash Fire Rodan. So I get okay. Huh. Well that's interesting that they put Meg Godzilla and Kiryu and Super Meg Godzilla all in that same history line on this uh uh card or lanyard or whatever you want to call it. So yeah. Alright. So that's gonna be it for the video, you guys. Um but like I said before, I don't know if these are all um five below exclusive but i've only seen my five below recently i'm gonna go to a different uh some a couple stores later uh this week maybe thursday or friday if not saturday and i'm gonna see if i can try to find these at other stores and do uh videos on them so yeah so that's gonna be it for the video you guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time